Welcome to exercise 10.3, configuring a VPN client, part of lab 10, which is configuring VPN and routing, found in the Microsoft Official Academic Course Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in preparation for exam 70-411. <clears throat> now that you've configured the VPN server, you need to configure a client to connect to the VPN server. During this exercise, you use server 2 to act as a VPN client. To connect a VPN connection using a built-in tools that comes with Windows 8, you have to use the Network and Sharing Center to create a new workplace connection. The approximate time for completion of this exercise is 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer the, the, I believe, one and only question in this exercise. Oh, there's a few of them. Okay. But the first question we're going to get to is what error message did we get? And that's going to be an error 691, and you're going to see that when we get to it. All right, so I have my RWDC01 open. I have my server 01 open. So I'm going to go ahead and open up server 2. Okay, we're going to log in as Contoso slash administrator. Again, use our past standard password we've been using. Okay, and before we get started, I'm going to go back to my Hyper-V, go ahead and right click, checkpoint, I cannot say this enough that it's critical that you make regular checkpoints because you never know when you're going to be going through a lab and you make a mistake and you want to start over, but you don't want to go all the way back to point one, to point A. <clears throat> okay, I'll go ahead and minimize. Okay, so now that that's come up, we're going to go ahead and right click, open Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, and we are going to right click the first adapter and click on Disable and Right click, second adapter, and go into properties. And then here we want to go to the IPv6, or 4 rather, and we want to list as here 1, the numlock, 192, 168. 2.10 tab. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. And then OK. And then we're going to choose to set up a new connection or network. I'm going to close out of this. Set up a new connection or network. We want to connect to a workplace. And then next, and then use my internet connection. I'll set up a connection, internet connection later. Here we're going to type in 192.168.2.1.
and then click on create. And we want to click the VPN connection and then connect. Here we're going to type in Contoso slash administrator and then password. And then click on OK. Okay, now that's been successful, uh, if you're following along just in your lab manual, this would be where you would take your next screenshot. So now we're going to click on our VPN connection and click on disconnect. Oops. And then we're going to click on the desktop. And go into the RWDC, go into Active Directory Users and Computers, and then double again double click on the administrator account. And we're going to click on the dial in. Click on Control Access Through NPS Network Policy. Click on OK. And then we're going to flip over to Server 2. Network and Sharing Center. Oops, it's not it. And we want to click on our VPN, right click, and connect. And here we get our error. The remote connection was denied because the username and password combination provided it is not recognized or the selected authentication protocol is not permitted on the remote access server. And that brings us to this question here. Okay, now we're going to click the left arrow next to the networks on top of the network pane and click on desktop. And we're going to go back to the RWDC, and I still have my Active Directory users and computers up. We're going to again click on the administrator account, double click, and again click on the dial in tab, and we want to allow access. Click on OK. Go to server one, and I'm already logged in as Contoso Administrator. And we want to go to Administrative Tools, so I'm going to click on my Start button, Administrator Tools, and double click the Windows Firewall. I'm going to click on Properties, turn the firewall to on, <laughs> and 
the private profile and public profile tabs. Private, we're going to turn that on. And then public is already on. So we'll go ahead and click on OK to close out of this. And then go ahead and close out of our Windows firewall with advanced security. Flip over to server 2. Click on the VPN connection. Click on connect. And now we get it connected. And now we're going to go back to the server 01. And Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Click on Properties. We're going to change Firewall State back to Off. Private and Public to Off. And then OK. All right, question number eight. Besides using the built-in networking tools found in Windows, what can you use to create an executable that will automatically create a VPN client to connect to a particular server or address? So we should have gotten an area 100, but for some reason it allowed it. All right, so question number eight. You're going to use Connection Manager Administration Kit, or CMAK. And this is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. Uh, the next video will go into exercise 10.4, which is configuring, a split, configuring split tunneling. Actually, let's go ahead and include that since this is only, it's only going to be about five minutes estimated. So I'm going to minimize this. Minimize, minimize, and let's go into the what it's going to go over. All right, so 10.4, configuring split tunneling. During this exercise, you take the current VPN connection that you created in exercise 10.3 and enable split tunneling so that corporate traffic will go through the internet and internet traffic will go out the local internet connection. The mindset behind this is by using split tunneling, internet traffic does not go through the corporate network and the corporate firewalls and proxy servers. As a result, traffic is not filtered, which might allow malware into the corporate network if the client computer is infected with malware. Again, the estimated completion time for this exercise is five minutes. So we're gonna go right into server two, which we already have open. And we're already in the network and sharing. And we want to right click the VPN connection, go into properties, click on the networking tab, and double click IPv4. And we want to click on the advanced button. We want to deselect to use default gateway. Okay, if you're following along your lab manual, this would be where you take your next screenshot. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK to close this, OK to close this, and then OK to close out of the VPN connections. So that brings us right to, and okay, to our next question. You have an execution, an executive who needs to download videos. His own internet connection is faster than the corporate network. Therefore, when he is at home, he would like to download the videos using the internet connection when connected to the corporate office through a VPN connection. What can you do? Well, the answer is you can configure split tunneling to the user. 
Okay, and that's going to end this exercise. The next exercise we'll get into is 10.5, Configuring Routing.